CoinPicker.us here, and I have an extremely exciting and profitable brief video for you today where I'm going to show you how to make nice day profits trading. And it could be a day, it could be a couple of days, but very short term. Like if you have $1,000, my goal is for you to be able to make something like um, $200, maybe $300 per day fairly routinely because it's a system. All right. It's not, you know, just shooting in the dark. So the first thing we're going to do is you would go to coinpicker.us. You're going to click on premium analysis if you happen to be a member. Uh, by the way, stay to the end of the of the uh, video, and I'll show you a way that you can you won't get as you know a precise an indicator as I give in the premium analysis, premium analysis, but you'll get you know an idea that will definitely boost it and boost your probabilities and make it make the trades good nonetheless. But you would go to the premium analysis section of coinpicker.us, and like I said, just a real quick station break. Click on click on this and get, you know, put your email in there and you'll get on my list and then I'll, you know, you can find out about the premium analysis. But this is one of the things in the premium analysis the section that I want to tell everybody about. And this this is the beginning of how you really ramp up the probability of making a profitable day trade. Because the big issue is if you're on a daily uptrend in the total market cap and you picked a reasonable project, a reasonable coin to invest in, you're going to make some money. But what we want to do is make sure that you know that you're going to be on an uptrend when you buy in and that you also have picked the ideal project that's going to rise the most because there's a big difference. Some projects will only rise a little, few will even drop, um, and then some will really rise significantly on an uptrend. So let's look at that really carefully. All right, so what we're seeing here is um, the total market cap plotted with moving averages for 20, 50, and 100 positions. Why do I say positions? Because this system scales in and out from days to weeks to um, all time, basically, that, you know, a lot. So it scales in and out. That, so it's done on positions rather than on days and days and weeks. But let's look at a 50-day, uh, because that's a reasonable amount of time. That's for our 50 uh, position for readings. But anyway, what we're seeing is that Right now we're in a kind of a trending market, which is exactly what I've said to my subscribers, that I wasn't expecting dramatic upside moves or dramatic downside. And that's basically where we've been. And the way you read an EMA, just so you know, is you can wait, as some people do, wait for the crossovers, like to the downside indicates. If you, cross, if you check it out here, it shows that we still have more downside. Um, and then as you start crossing here and then leveling out, it's suggesting we're about to go to the upside which is what it does. I do not wait for a cross at all. It's too late for me. I wait for a peak and then like this is the peak and then it moves down. That tells me the odds are, um, and the more aggressively it moves down, the more likely this is the case. That tells me the odds are we are in a downtrend. So the 20 day gives us that we're in a downtrend. It's probably gonna go farther. So I assess a downtrend right about here, bam. And that means that this portion of the move from 421 all the way down to 414 was easy to spot. Now, as it starts hitting the low point, you start to see it leveling out. And it levels out right about, starts leveling out right about here. And that tells me, oh, we've got an uptrend beginning. Well, that was around 416 and the system's redoing 416. And it went all the way up to like 420, something like that. So on a Bitcoin or total market cap basis, that seems like it's not that much of a move. Ah, here's where we begin to shift out. So the big picture is what you want to do is you want to um, you want to read the EMAs relative, you know, for the total market cap and then decide, OK, well, the market's going to be moving up today or it wants to recapture a higher point. That's, you know, the trend. And you can be relatively accurate. I mean, if you've read my read my posts, most of them are pretty accurate as to what's going to happen. So um, what I then do is I then go to the coin market cap. Now, let's just orient everything the way you see it when you arrive. And what you'll see is that everything's basically up four, three, you know, zero, a little bit down, but basically four, three percent. That's not enough for me to day trade on. And I suggest it's not a great idea for you to day trade on. It's too narrow of a margin to make it worth the effort. You might, you might be wrong when you get in, all that. Instead, however, do this. You're going to reorient, you're going to click on this, you're going to reorient everything to find out what's risen the most in the day. Now, it's tempting to say, wow, that eCoin and the uCash are really rocking and rolling. Let's jump on those. 
I would suggest it's not a good idea to do that because typically in the in the market this could be a pump of some kind. I don't I'm not really familiar with eCoin or eCash. I have to look into them more carefully. They may be completely legitimate. This is way too low of a volume coin for me even to get involved in. You are the market on a lot of exchanges if you're involved in a coin like that. So just ignore these top ones like that. This one's a decent enough market volume, still not great. But it's just too much of a rise. Unless there was some really hardcore reason, I would not do it. What you want to do is look for a more normal rise that doesn't look like a pump that has decent volume like these do. That's a little less. Our chain's a little less. Um, but these are okay. Uh, Ethereum Classic is really good. But Populous I'd be feel, feel totally fine with. And that's a 20-some-odd percent change, right? What you do is you don't have to buy in today, right? You decide you know, what day when you've got an uptrend that's pretty apparent based on what you're seeing here in the premium, premium analysis section, premium analysis section, say that 10 times fast. Um, you then buy into a, a project that's shown relative outperformance. Now, I talked about a particular project a while ago before we peaked. I said, I'm buying into a project that, in my experience, is still going to continue to rise even when the market dropped. And that's exactly what I did a while ago. I talked about Walton. I made it public. I went in and did it myself. It was all based on this kind of analysis. I'd been watching the markets for a long time, determining which projects were moving counter trend and kind of trend on a down day and positively, really positively on an up day. Walton was that project, along with some other things I like about Walton. But now Populous is showing very good relative strength. So on an up day, if I want to bank a two or $300 profit with a $1,000 investment, and I'm not saying you have to do this. I'm not giving you financial advice. I'm just saying that you know that's the kind of trading I will, I will do. I'll put a 1000 or something into a particular project, and I'll ride it up, and I'll sell out a little bit. Sell out. So I harvest profits. In a down market, that's what I do. In a, in a, and we're in a down market, you know, down or trending. I think we're going to rise again. And then and, and as, I, as I see that coming close, I'll tell all of my viewers as well, I will then begin taking positions. And I'm already about to do that, okay? I'm starting to take more positions in the market that are longer term. But for day trading, that's what I'm talking about here, day or a couple of days, maybe a week, but day trading, Populous is good. Our chain is reasonable. Dragon chain is very good. Emmercoin, all these would work. And I would be looking for, you know, an up day as defined by this, an up potential day. Like right now, it's looking a little bit less positive. Like I wouldn't do, I wouldn't buy in right now, but it's a trending day. It's a trending day. And then I would buy into one of these projects and I would ride it up for that trending day. See, you know, get, get to a point where I like the, uh, like the profit picture, sell out. Could be a day, could be two days, could be a couple of hours even, and then wait for another setup. And that's all I would do, wait for another setup. And I will be doing that. In fact, I'll be talking about some of the trades. So hopefully that makes sense to you. Now, as I said, this is part of the premium analysis that I offer. Uh, some One of the features that I offer are also portfolios and other things, and trading and some ICO reviews that will be coming. But you don't have to sign up for this, okay? Yeah, you don't have to. I, I would encourage you definitely want to sign up for the, um, the free report. But you don't necessarily have to sign up for the premium analysis. What you can do is <clears throat> go to uh, tradingview.com. And I do think there is a modest fee for that. But I think you can also do some analysis without paying that fee. And then you're going you're gonna, to you know, assess the indicators, whichever you use. Like you could use, um, let's, let's knock out uh, balance of power right now. And let's go to, let's add... Um, one that everybody seems to like, and I like too. I, I like um, Bollinger Bands are, are pretty good. Uh, let's see what that says. Yeah, Bollinger, I mean, basically they're all saying relative trending, trending. Now this is on a weekly basis, Bitcoin is oversold. It's looking for a pop. Um, on a day basis, it's not quite that extreme. In fact, it's a little bit, like a little toppy on a day basis, but nothing I would worry about. I would say the likelihood is it's more of a trend than a top. That's a, getting a little bit toppy. That's a little, but this is saying it's about to cross over where buyers will be in control. So that's what you could do. It's a little trickier to assess. Plus, you're only assessing roughly 30% of the total market. Um, although Bitcoin, of course, is the main metric for everything else. The easier way is, you know, obviously to use the indicator that I set up. And that's why I set it up, because it's much easier to detect what's going on with this. But, um, this is a method to 
bank some pretty reliable, like I'd say the odds are higher than 70% reliable um, that you are probably going to be in a profitable trade for the day. So that's coinpicker.us. I thought I would pass this on for those of you. Um, please comment, subscribe, hit the like button. Let me know if you like this idea or if you have questions or if you have a better approach that I, you know, I like, I'm always open to learning new ideas and I will talk to you tomorrow.